Glory, hallelujah, glory, hallelujah. Yes, it's that time of the day, that time of the hour. Welcome to Wisdom for Women, Change Therapy. Ye must be born again. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this hour. We thank you for today. We thank you for your word that you've given to us. Lord, glorify yourself today. Let a heart be turned towards you today. Let there be salvation to that man, to that woman, that boy, that girl, that child, that family. We pray today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Good morning, people. How are you doing? It's a brand new day. It's a brand new week. Listen, let's dig into what God has for us today. So I want to welcome you to this forum, Wisdom for Women. If this is your first time, you just, you know, suddenly jam this, this um, session or this channel or this this podcast or this cast or whatever it is, we want to call it, hallelujah. I want to welcome you. I welcome you, brother. I welcome you, sister. But particularly, this is for sisters. But So feel free, share this with somebody that you know. Hallelujah. Listen. Yes, the doors are open. The doors are open. The doors are open. The doors are open. Get your friend. Get your sister. Get your mother. Get your enemy. Heaven is a place where everybody is welcome. Anybody that will come to him. He says, anybody that will come, I will not cast away. Listen. Our ruler was came to Jesus by night to ask him the way of salvation and light. The master made answer, it was true and plain, he must be born again. He must be born again. He must be born again. I verily, verily say unto thee, ye must be born again. Ye children of men, attend to the word so solemnly ordered by Jesus the Lord. I let not this message to you be in vain. Ye must be born again. Ye must be born again. I must be born again. Oh, verily, verily say unto thee, ye must be born again. Yes, all you who will enter that glorious rest and sing with the ransom, the song of the blessed, the life everlasting, if you would obtain, you must be born again. I must be born again. We must be born again. We must be be born again oh i verily verily say unto me you must be born again song by william mr william t sleeper that song is so beautiful but listen to this one from ebbo i love it Oh, the spirit came on me when I when that song just pumped in my spirit. Mm-hmm. Jesus. Hallelujah. Ye must. I must. We must be born again jesus say verily verily meaning to truly to truly i say unto you ye must be born again let me ask you a question do you know who jesus spoke this words to if only you know who jesus spoke this word to then you will actually understand the importance jesus said Verily, verily, truly, truly, 
you know what? Let me tell you what happened this one of these weekdays. You know, I was talking to a sister who was talking about the characteristics of the husband. Ha ha ha. And you know what I told her? He's not born again. He is not converted. Because when you know who Jesus spoke this, listen, that is it. That is that is Jesus does not condemn sinners. When they brought the woman that was caught in ad adultery to him, Jesus said, I know it is human beings condemn. Jesus said, I, I don't condemn. You just go and sin no more. <laughs> Somebody receive light today. Receive light in the word today. Who did Jesus tell? You must be born again. The book of John chapter 3. Now, there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus. Do you know who the Pharisees are? Do you know what they represent? The Pharisees were the custodians, the ones that felt that they were up there. Like Paul, that was now made, um, Saul, that was now made Paul, the apostle. The Pharisees, he said, I'm the Pharisee of the Pharisee. They fast how many days? How many days you fast? They give. I want it. They, 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 are, they are very careful. You think you're tight. You're not tight to nothing. The Pharisees were very careful. Jesus told them, you are very careful in your tightening. You tight even to the, to the meat. You tight to the meat. These were guys who were like straight on. Straight on the word. Straight on the Moses' commandment. And they also added extra. <laughs> the Pharisees. The Pharisees. Hmm. Nicodemus, a man of the Pharisees, a man, a ruler of the Jews. That's what Jesus is talking to right now. A ruler of the Jews. Ye must be born again, is my today. It is not church. Mm -mm. It is not about going to church. You know, I hear. There was a pastor that was saying that, you know, because his father builds how many churches, 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 he will never be stranded on earth. I know. But how about heaven? Will you be stranded when it comes to heaven? <laughs> that, let, let that sink somewhere. Let that just sink somewhere. It is not how many churches you built. You know, the problem, oh my God, I need my money back. You know, when, we, when you buy something, say, if you don't go, come and collect your money. I need my money back. I need my time back. It is not coming out in front of the church, saying the sinner's prayer, and they are put into the work. You go on evangelism, you go and build churches, and a lot of adultery, a lot of fornication, a lot of you beating your wife or talking to, you know, oppression is going on. Nicodemus, a man of the Pharisees, a ruler of the Jews. You are going to church, yes. You are the deacon, yes. Yes. You are a leader, a choir leader. they sleeping with all the choir members. Hmm, ha. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Yes, sir. Pastor, yes, sir. Pope, yes, sir. Archbishop, yes, sir. Reverend, which is not even... God is reverend, but we carry the name and call ourselves. Yes, sir. Apostle, yes, sir. Prophet, yes, sir. Nicodemus, a man of the Pharisee. Woman leader, yes. Woman leader, yes. But every woman, you just, they abuse them, they curse them. Yes. Woman leader, but your leg no stay for your house. You are gossiping about other women in there. Yes. Hmm. This is for us. I've been a Christian for 30 years. Yes. So what? A man of the Pharisee, a ruler of the Jews. You see, that is where I'm going today. There are so many people in the church that are not born again. Hmm. 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 Nicodemus, yes, a ruler, a pastor, a prophet, an apostle, woman leader, choir leader, youth leader, 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 build hundred churches, evangelism. I'm a far, I am a missionary in the field, in the threshold. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. But are you born again? Am I born again? Let that sink. This was Nicodemus. Nicodemus. A ruler of the Jews. There's somebody, you see, Jesus said the blind lead the blind. All of them will fall into that ditch. Am I born again? Are you born again? The Bible says that by their fruits you shall know them. Are you exhibiting the fruit of Jesus? They say the, the fruit does not fall far from the tree. 
And that's why I told the sister, I said, all this characteristic of your husband, he is not born again. And I used, I told her, I used to have somebody that would say, you know, when somebody do something, he would say, you need Jesus. Yes, we need Jesus. We must be born again. I did this. I did that. It doesn't matter. I am Pope. I am prophet. I am this. I am that. I am the apostle of the day. When I open, when I carry my arm, people, they fall. When I do this, the lame work. Jesus said what? You will say unto me that day, I did this in your name. I did that in your name. Oh. But Jesus will say, depart from me. I know ye not, ye workers of iniquity. It is not how you work for the Lord. It is not how I work for the Lord. <laughs> I can sing from, I, 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 maybe I've been singing from my womb for Jesus said till now. <laughs> All my singing will be like filthy rats if I am not born again. The birth of with the Lord Jesus is a new birth. That, that song I sang in Ibibio. E manam fin, e manam fin. New birth, new birth is the birth and the work of the Lord Jesus. E manam Jesus. I do aim and I'm fain. The birth of Jesus, the walking with Jesus is a new birth. You know, I heard a story where the man was saying, the wife told him, oh, you need to live the life of a Christian. You see, it is not me, the wife that will say I am a Christian. No, my husband should be able to say, I see a change in you. I see Jesus in you. It is not a husband that will say, I am a good husband. No, I say, your wife will have to say, I see Jesus in you. I see a change in you. It is not you telling your children, I am a good father, I'm a good mother, we are good parents. No, it is them, the children, saying that yes, we see Jesus and we see Christ in you. For the Bible says that ye will be my witness. It is only when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Because you cannot walk, I cannot walk this walk with the flesh. You see, the flesh is what we try to do. The flesh is what makes us hit the road. I'm going on crusade, hit the road. I'm, I, oh, I built this church in this place. I built a church in Switzerland. I built a church in, in Canada. I built a church in Australia. I built a church in the forest in the Amazon. I built a church here. I built a church there. I fast every day. I pray every day. Nicodemus, a Pharisee. A ruler of the Jews. Jesus told Nicodemus. I want us to remember that. And Jesus is telling you now. So most, a lot of pastors are not born again. No, forget. Because by their fruits you shall know them. You see pride? They are not born again. They want to control you. They are not born again. Woman leader want to control what every woman in the group is doing. She is not born again. Even choir leader want to control everybody. He or she is not born again. Pastor want to control you. He or she is not born again. Jesus told Nicodemus. This is for us to check, check. He said, you should search yourself. Search yourself. Put a light on myself. Am I born again? Am I born again? Jesus said to Nicodemus. You see, that's I actually know who did Jesus talk to. Going to church is not the answer. Maybe you've been to church already. Maybe you are planning to go like me now. I'm dressed to get ready to pop out and go to church. Yes. You know, I pray a prayer all the time. I say, thank you, Lord, I did not die in my ignorance. They will ask, oh, she's a pastor's wife. Oh, she music leader. Oh, oh may I so rest in peace. Fast, may I so rest in peace if I don't follow the word of the Lord Jesus. I got no, no evil, no peace to put nobody in. If I am not born again, if I am not following the Lord Jesus, if I am not living the life that he has called me to live, then when I go, I say, Jesus, you know, I was singing in the choir for you. Jesus, I was, you know, doing organizing children's thing. You know, Jesus, my, I was giving my tithe. Jesus, I was, you know, editing the church children I do. I'm cleaning the church. Jesus, you know, every morning I wake up and I go and clean the church. Jesus, you know, say, depart from me. Ye workers of iniquity. Even though I do all these things in him. But am I born again? Amen. I'm fin. New birth. I man I Jesus. Jesus said to Nicodemus. John 3. I want you to note who he spoke to. Jesus did not talk to. Uh, he's not talking to. He's not. Listen. He's not talking to person that don't say they know him. Jesus was not talking to the Philistines. 
Jesus was not talking to the Syrians. Jesus was not talking to the Samaritans. Jesus made this statement. You know, Jesus met the woman at the well in John chapter 4. The same John, right after this incident. Jesus met the woman at the well. But Jesus told Nicodemus, the woman at the well was a sinner. What did you expect? Huh? <laughs> the woman at the well, Jesus said, the one you are living with is not your husband. I understand. I know where you are. But he's talking to those of us. Who are the Pharisees? <laughs> He's talking to those of us who are built on three churches so that your working for the Lord will not be in vain. So that Nicodemus, you are not following God in vain. Jesus told Nicodemus, ah, you are a leader in Israel and you don't know this. Ah, hmm. You are a leader in Israel and you don't know that you have to be born again of the water and of the spirit. You don't know Nicodemus. Being a Pharisee is not going to make you enter heaven. Mm-mm. Be the prayer warrior. Prayer warrior, even they gossip more than other people in the church. Because they say they are, they are interse intercessory people. They are interceding, but all your story is outside. Hmm, sorry. Ye must be born again. I must be born again. We must be born again. And so you say, what are you talking about, Jesus? Just like Nicodemus. Nicodemus said to him, how can a man... A man like me, born when he is old. Jesus, I have been in this thing for long. What are you talking about? When I am old. <laughs> Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say unto you, unless one is born of water and the spirit, Jesus said, and the apostles said, repent and be baptized. And there are two baptisms. And I think I've talked about um, Hebrews 5 and 6 where you have to exercise your senses oh you can go down go to YouTube is right there exercising your senses you cannot think that all your works is going to get you into heaven Jeremiah said they are like filthy rags <laughs> Paul said Paul the apostle said I count them no Jeremiah said I count them but as dung Paul the apostle and Jeremiah they are like filthy rags Jeremiah I count them as dung. Nothing. What are you doing? You are minding the, uh, the, you are the one in charge of audiovisual in the church. Are you born again? You are a drummer in the church. Are you born again? You are in charge of the um, uh, microphone in the church. Are you born again? You are in charge of evangelism. Are you born again? You are a mass leader. Are you born mass leader? Are you born again? Are you born of the water? My time is flying. And of the spirit. Am I born of the water? And of the spirit? The Jesus said the words that I speak to you. They are spirit and they are life. <laughs> the words that I speak to you. They are spirit and they are life. This Bible. The words that I speak to you. They are spirit and they are life. He says, sanctify them by, their, by your word. Your word is truth. In Revelation, he says, Jesus is the word of God. So how do, we get, how do we get born again? How do you get born again? It is not me deciding not to wear trousers today. I will not wear trousers again. I will not do makeup again. All those are works. I will be giving my tithe faithfully. All those are works. Pharisees, you can listen. You cannot beat a Pharisee. You cannot, I cannot beat a Pharisee in their works. Ah, you saw the, 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 the young guy that came, the rich guy that came to Jesus. He said, I have kept the commandment from my youth. I have kept the commandment from my, have you kept the commandment from your youth? No. Then he came to Jesus, bragging that he has kept the commandment from his youth. But Jesus said what? One thing thou lackest, are you born again? That is my one thing. You need to ask yourself, one thing, am I born of the water and of the spirit? Have you gone down? Have, do you believe in the word of God? After you believe, have you repented? Have you turned towards God? Have you gone in the water? I'm not talking about sprinkling, but have you gone in the water? And he says also the water of the word washes us. Hey, sister Rebecca. God bless you for joining me today. 
have you gone in the water have you gone in the water when was the last time you saw somebody being baptized in the water we cannot decide to walk the walk of jesus our own way when was the last time you even heard the word in church ye must be born again it is not you should you may ah, really no it is not say you must sing it did not say you must give your tithe. It did not say you must walk and be on the mission field. It did not say you must be a missionary. It did not say you must evangelize. No. But the word that he spoke and he's speaking to us, who we'll say we are Pharisees, who we'll say we are rulers of the Jews, ye must be born again. Ye must be born again. Be born of the water. And be born of the spirit. A lot of the pastors are not baptized. How can you be a pastor, a leader of the Jews, and you are not baptized in the water? You were sprinkled as a youth. No. They don't even preach it. They don't even practice it. They don't even do it. But Jesus' words say, Ye must, it is a must, that we be born of the water and of the spirit. Ye must be born again. It is a new life. This life that we live, it is a new life. It is not the same life. He says all things are passed away and all things must become new. I will not talk the way I used to talk. I will not dress the way I used to dress. I will not operate the way I used to operate. I will give to Caesar what is Caesar and I must give to God what is God. Ye must be born again. That is the word that God is telling us today. But he's starting from the top. He's talking to Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. So if you are a ruler, if you're a woman's leader, are you born again? Choir leader, are you born again? Listen, you can practice from January and be the best choir in the world. Be the best. Like they, you root your chest. My choir is the best. Are you born again? Because every work will be tested by fire. They will come to Jesus. I sang for you, Lord Jesus. And when I sang, in fact, the whole of a, uh, how would I even say it? A, uh, what do they call it? London Bridge fell down. London Bridge is falling down. Uh -huh. When I open my mouth like this, the whole of the birds, the birds just come and got them. Uh -huh. Hear voice. Who you? Voice. And Jesus will say, depart from me. Ye workers of iniquity. I am a celebrity. I am an influencer. When I go on Facebook like this, the whole world will come. It's time for joy. Is here. They will be listening. Hey, uh-huh. After that, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. May that not be my portion in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. May that not be my portion. Are ye, are you, we must be born again. John 3, be born of the water. And of the spirit, that which is flesh, that which is born of, of that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I say to you, you must again. It is not you may, you should. Ah, uh, it really is not important. But Jesus said, you must be born again. The wind blows where it wills, and you hear the sound of it, but you do not know whence it comes or whither it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Let that be for you this week. If you are not born again, it is not saying the prayer. That's why I don't say prayer here. No. Saying prayer is not. You must be born of the water and of the Spirit. Believe in the Lord Jesus and thou shalt be saved. Believe in the Lord Jesus and thou shalt be saved. Believe in the Lord Jesus. He said, the words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. Do you believe this word? Do I believe this word? I pray, Lord, help us to believe. Believe in the Lord Jesus and be baptized. There's no other way whereby a man shall be saved. No other name but the name of Jesus. And we have to believe what the Lord Jesus said. If he said we must, we must. If we say we have to believe in him, we have to believe in him. That he said we must. There's no other way. No other way. It is not works. It is not building churches. It is not building, let me say that again, it's not building a hundred churches. It is not building one thousand churches. It's not going on missionary work. You can go on missionary work for all I care. But that day, when we stand before God, we're going to be judged based on the word first. 
what did we do? We believe the Lord Jesus. What was Adam seeing? Unbelief. Adam did not believe the word of God that said, if you eat, you will die. The devil came to him and said, you will not die. So he chose to believe the word of the devil. That said, you will not die, Adam. If you will not die. God said, you will die. No, you will not die. So it was unbelief. The sin of the world is unbelief. The sin of the world is not believing this word. That Jesus said, you must be born again. We come with our own ways. But Jesus said, there is a way. There is a way to run the race. If you want to finish the race and finish well, we got to run it the way. The person will get the race, say we should run it. We must run it the way. Jesus said, you must be. Yes, must, must, must. Yes, Sister Rebecca. Yes, must, must, and must. Amen. We must be. That is the way that Jesus said we must do. Not our own way. We can't follow Jesus our own way. It's not going to work. We follow Jesus' his way. Because guess what? This race is the Lord Jesus' race. He died to save us. He shed his blood. Your pastor, your reverend, your apostle, your Pharisee leader, your Jewish leader. He said he was a ruler, a ruler of the Jews. The Jews are the people of God. So a ruler of the people of God. But he was not born again. He himself was confused. Did not know. He said, Jesus, what are you talking about? What do you mean I must be born again? I do all this. The, rich, the young ruler came and said, I, I, I do all this. But one thing is lacking. Ye must be born again. Be born of the water of the spirit and of the spirit. The Lord give us grace. It is not the prayer. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It is the word of God. Pick up your Bible. He says, if you abide in me, meaning if you accept my word, if you live and you act on my word, abide means you accept the word. You say, yes, it is true. I want to live by the word. That is what it is. Abide in me. If you abide in me and my word abide in you. The word of the Lord is the one that is washing us. He said the word washes us like water. We are purified by the word. Saved by the blood. Purified by the word. Kept justified by the spirit. May the Lord give us understanding. We must be born again. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage you today. Take up your word. Open the Bible. And read it. And the Lord give us grace. It is not church going. You, you must go to church. That one is true. You must. You must. Uh huh. Let's talk. About, I'll talk about um everything we do for God. If we don't do it in the name of Jesus, it's like sounding simple. It doesn't make sense. So we'll come to that. So I want to thank you today, Father. We want to thank you also for giving us the opportunity to come to learn of you. And I pray for that brother, that sister, that that man, that woman, that Lord, we would look deep into us again. Are we born again? That we will follow your word that says we must be born of the water and of the spirit. So anybody that's out there that wants to believe, Father, like the man said, help my unbelief. Father, help that unbelief. And help them to seek water baptism. And let help them to seek the Holy Ghost baptism also. Because we must be washed. We must be baptized of the water and of the spirit. We must be born of the water and of the spirit. We must be baptized by the water and baptized into the spirit of God. Father, we just thank you. Help us, Lord, as we continue this work with you. Give us grace in the name of Jesus. You said those that hunger and thirst after righteousness, you said they shall be filled. And we ask, O oh God, that you help us to order our conversation aright. For he that orders his conversation aright, you will show the glory of God in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much, my people. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Sister Becky, Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining with me today. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. Remember, we must be born again. We must be born again. Mm. Hallelujah. We must be born again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A ruler was came to Jesus by night to ask him the way of salvation and light. The master made answer, it was true and plain. Ye must be born again. Ye must be born again. Ye must be born again. I verily, verily say unto thee, ye must be born again oh ye must be born again ye must be born again i verily verily say on to thee ye must 
be born again. Mm. God bless you. I love you. But guess what? Jesus loves you the most because he died for you. Catch you again if the Lord is willing.